Hey guys, welcome. My name is Karina, aka Karina Thingy's Makeup. Um, my first tutorial, so we're just trying it out. But we're just gonna do a cute little neutral everyday wear fall makeup. Um, you can wear this for Thanksgiving, Christmas, to work, to go grocery shopping, it don't matter. But if you like what you see, then keep on watching. All right, now that I've already prepped my eyes off camera, we're just gonna go in with any palette you want. I'm gonna go in with my James Charles uh, X Morphe palette, or Morphe X James Charles palette, my bad. And eh. I'm just gonna start off with this red right here. And you're just gonna wanna put it in this little corner right here. Just pack it on there. And in case you're wondering what I use as my base, I use the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's pretty good. I'm trying to find something cruelty free though. And just keep packing it on there. You just have some kind of ombre effect like that. Next. We're gonna go in with a blending brush. I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that came in this palette. It's honestly easier for me. I need to update all my brushes, but it's cool. It's fine. I wanna go ahead and blend in circular motions or in windshield wiper motion, whatever you prefer. I prefer circular. I think it blends out better. Get more of what you're going for. All right, and I'm just gonna grab a little bit more red and put that just like we did before. And again, you just wanna pack it on there. And you can go ahead and grab that same blending brush. All right, next you wanna grab a more pointed blending brush, kinda like this. And then I'm gonna go in with this like soft matte brown right here. And I'm just gonna put it directly under a red. I'm sorry if I keep covering, I'm still trying to get used to like my angles. And you can go ahead and grab more if you want, or you can just go with like so. I'm going for more like a red brow kind of thing right now. All right, you just wanna go ahead and grab that same blending brush and go ahead and blend in circular motions again, like so. I personally like going in with a light hand. I feel like you get more blendness. Is that a word? That's not a word. <sighs> okay, yeah. And then if you feel like your red went away, you can go ahead and go in with the same brush, but you don't have to dip in before and just kind of go over it like this and then blend that all out together again as sun we're just gonna take a flat brush or whatever you use to do cut creases i don't judge i personally like using a uh, flat brush like this, I think it's easier. And I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 230 and just cut the crease. Ignore my stomach, I'm starving. Oh. 
let me show you so i just like putting a little bit right here and then i like going up like that and then here i'll move closer And now that you have a cut crease like this, you don't want to go in all the way because you do want to leave some room for you can um, have like the eyeshadow go in. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't really know what the name is because I kind of just forgot it, but you'll see. I'm just going to go with my Daisy Marquez XBH Cosmetics uh, palette, probably one of my favorites. And I'm just going to take Lust, this very light shimmery like rose gold shade and i'm just gonna place it where we just did our cut crease i really hope this is rose gold and i'm not fooling myself and the thing i like about this palette is it comes with a mirror i mean my mirror breaks all the time i think it was just like that in the mail but like nothing hot glue super glue can fix you know and you just want to go in like this Now that you have a very light, shimmery shade on your eyes, I'm gonna go in with the same palette, the James Charles. Why did I say same palette? It's a different palette. All right, I'm gonna go in with the same palette as before. It's the Morphe X James Charles. And I'm just gonna take this dark purple right here and blend it inwards over this brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a pointed brush like this. I think it's a lot easier, especially when you just want light colors. I'm sorry, I'm dropping brushes. And again, just grab this purple right here, any purple you like. It doesn't have to be purple. Just be blue for all I care. And after you grab that purple, you just wanna go ahead and place it right there very lightly. And you can place it a little bit more right here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more because it's showing up, but not as much as I want. All right, and once you get the color that you desire, or like, not the color, but like the amount that you want on there, go ahead and grab another blending brush. And then once you grab your blending brush, it could be any blending brush, I'm gonna go in with the same type of brush, but it's a different one, I promise. And you just wanna go ahead and blend inwards. So by that, I mean like this, but still keep it circular motions. All right, and then we're gonna go in with that same brush that we used to put in the brown. And I just kind of like to go over it for it doesn't, for the pa for like the purple doesn't like overpower. All right, and once you go back with that brown, just again, blend in circular motions. And you could even blend upwards like I'm doing just to really get everything blended together. And then, hmm, I feel like it's missing a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go in with that same brush, but this, like the flat part, and I'm gonna go into the Daisy Marquez XBH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just gonna go in with this little yellow, it's called Flower. She named it after us. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in over the red before, but very lightly. Like so. Too much on there. All right, and you just wanna blend that per usual. And 
and you can go in and add more you can leave it like i am i'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then i'm gonna come back and do my face all right, now that both eyes are done and they look great, I'm gonna go ahead and go with my eyelash curler and then my mascara. I use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I don't even know what I use to be honest. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead and grab your mirror like so. Now when I curl my lashes, I like pulling it back like that and then bring it forward. They really like. Curls it out. Sometimes I just don't like a look, and mascara is really like the only thing that brings it together. Like I, uh, like I'm not gonna lie, I spent a whole tantrum to not like my looks, and that's so sad, so sad. Pro tip, if you ever hate how clumpy it comes out, use one of these bad boys or a Q-tip and just go through it. You take all the clumps out. Now that's all done, we can move on to the I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter pa uh, bleh, Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit. A little bit does go a long way. about the noise these upstairs these upstairs neighbors are so loud because that wasn't my jacket um i took it off because i didn't want to get foundation all over it but i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty pro filter hydrating longwear foundation i think is probably one of the hydra like one of the best like foundations for dry skin uh, I still have yet to find a brand at Sephora that works great for my skin besides NARS. And I have pretty like lenient skin, I would say. Like it, like I can work with anything. Um, I know I'm blessed for that. I know not everybody has that. All right, and I'm gonna go with my Fenty Beauty uh, foundation brush in 115 and just stipple it everywhere. And then once you're done stippling that area, you can go back and like just kind of brush it around. I do go over it with the beauty blender after because I don't like any streaks. I'm very picky when it comes to my makeup, but literally look, it looks like skin. Oh. Remember, if I have the time, I'll do it. All right, now that that's all blended out, just to take that extra step, you don't have to do this. I go over with my beauty blender. All right, and next you're gonna wanna go in with concealer. As you already know, I use Fenty Beauty. Shocking. <laughs> and uh, you're just gonna wanna go in one right here. And then I also like to like cream contour as well. I like to do my cream contour and my concealer at the same time. If you use Fenty, I recommend warming it up on the side of your hand for um, primer water, but I don't have any. Right, and now that you look ridiculous, we can move on. Nice, blend like your heart desires. That was cheesy, I hate me. All right, now that everything's all blended, 
I'm just gonna go in with my um, Airspun Loose Powder. It's probably one of my favorite powders. I am gonna try the Fenty Beauty one later on because I do wanna add it to my kit, so. But I promise you a little goes a long way. You don't need that much. We ain't flashback Mary out here. taking this fluffy brush is not too big not too little it's probably perfect for this and I just fluff it out except whenever it comes to my eyes I'll show you how I do that and I kind of just pat it in and then wipe it off done I'm just gonna go in with my Lisa Frank X Glamour Dog Bitten and Bronze Matte Bronzer and we're just gonna bronze everywhere we contour that so forehead cheekbone and then down here and then I might contour my nose today I don't know depending what I want to do lightly especially if you contour already because it does come out like this is really pigments it you don't want it to be too much too much in your face you don't want to look like you put mud just on your face on the ground you know and then i also like bringing it down to my neck um that looks bad you just want to blend it out though Once that's all done, I want to go in with the same bronzer or whatever you want to use. And then I'm just going to use a flat brush like this. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose. And I'm going to come in closer since I can't zoom in. And just to let you know, um, in order to blend this, I use a bigger version of whatever that brush was. All right, and once that's all done, you wanna go in with your setting powder again and just kind of bake and shape out how you want your contour to be. I don't like putting too much setting powder on my face. I used to, and then I look like flashback Mary, and I have really dry skin, so. Next, we're just gonna go with our highlighter. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills XM Breezy Highlighter. Looks like this. I don't know if they still sell it. I got it a while ago. And it's probably one of my favorite highlighters, to be honest. Take a shot first when I say to be honest. And we're just gonna put it right here with this little pencil brush right there. I don't know why I used a highlighter for that, but yeah. And the bridge of our nose. And then I like going over my finger to blend it out. I feel like I get more of what I want. I wish my lighting was better because I look bomb, period. <laughs> and then I like going with my Fenty Beauty highlighter brush in 120. I go between this one and my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I forgot what number this was, but these are how they both look. I'm gonna go with this one today. I feel like I'm gonna get more bang for my buck. 
The thing about this brush is it can go in heavy, so you have to figure out your angles. Y'all see that? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Then don't forget your foreheads. Again, you can go in with your finger. I just don't like things looking too like. I like my skin looking like skin. But with glam. Alright, and you want to take that same pencil brush and just highlight right here. Now that that's all done, it's time for blush. Before you move on to blush, you want to wipe away the excess. Alright, and I'm going to go in with my instant fall for this blush um, powder blush by The Balm. It's kind of dirty right now because blush fell on it, but this is the color. It's in pinstripe. That was just rude. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna go in with my blush brush from Luxy or Luxy. Don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry, in 514. Oh, I put too much. Alright, and now that that's all done, we can just throw on some lashes and some lipstick and then we're done thousand years later all right now that that's all done this is the completed look i just went ahead and went in with my ofra cosmetics x uh nikki tutorials collab i used new potion and coven and i got this combo and then i believe my lashes are corset from ardell i want to say i know they were found at walmart and then my setting spray, I use the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. It's a 16 hour wear. Probably one of my favorites. Um, but I hope you guys like this tutorial and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for tuning in.